Hey y'all, this is Jamie. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we are going to be continuing with the Ordinary album. And I'm going to be reacting to the Lonely Street Envy. So somebody brought this up on one of my other videos that it was obviously up to me, but as a viewer, they think they would enjoy it a little bit more if my first experience with the song was with the music video. On the other two Ordinary songs, Maniac and Venom, I had been watching the lyric video first and then moving into the music video. So what I'm going to do, the reason why I did that was so that I knew what the song was about before doing the music video. And I know that a lot of times, especially in K-pop, the lyrics don't have anything to do with the storyline of the music video, but I don't know. I just felt like I needed at least a little bit of something to understand what was going on. So here is what we are gonna do. I'll tell you after the intro. Let's go. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna look up just like a little synopsis. I think it's genius that like at the bottom of the lyrics, they have like a little blurb about what the song is about. So I'm gonna look at that first and then we're gonna watch the music video, and then I am going to just go over the lyrics, I guess. Actually, that's what I'm gonna do. She's all over the place, and it's morning, so my voice doesn't sound great. I don't think I'm gonna watch the lyric video. I'm just going to read through the lyrics, and then we'll watch the music video. Does that sound good? I hope that sounds okay. So let me look up the lyrics to this, and then we shall begin. Okay, what's it called? Lonely Street. I walk on the road, the only road I've ever known. My shadow's the only one that walks beside me. My shallow heart's the only thing that's rendering. Just and I wish I was the living standing. Till then I walk alone. That's why I, I think I need I, I need to listen to this song to get that in my head because every time, even though that's not what that song is called, it's Boulevard of Broken Dreams. But every time I say Lonely Street, that song pops in my head. As I walk down the street, falling down, I'm falling down. The street is desolated. I black out again at every free time, spaced out. The street is isolated. Still astray, a a a. Just stuff it all because I'm a go on my way. A night where I briefly closed my eyes, I can't see anything anyway. What was I expecting? It's the same even when I opened my eyes. This isolated road without a single light, the street light broke a long time ago. The shoe soles that are all worn out are left behind. Footprints won't last long, they'll be erased. I feel like I'll faint from exhaustion, I don't think I can go further. Although I have a lot taken away from me, this is my last time walking this way. Don't come to comfort me now, I'm still on my way. As I walk down the street, falling down, I'm falling down. The street is isolated, not isolated, desolated. I black out again at every free time spaced out. The street is isolated, still astray, astray, astray. Just stuff it all because I'm a go on my way. Every day and night I'm walking. It's darker when you walk alone at night. I'm lonely, but I'm the lone king. I'll pull out the sword and draw my true own path towards the sunset, but I'm blue. I can't see it even with the moon. I'm still astray, I'm still astray. I feel like I'll faint from exhaustion. I don't think I can go further. Although I have taken, I have a lot taken away from me. This is my last time walking this way. And then it goes to the chorus again. So basically they're saying, this is what the genius is saying. That even though the picked road may be lonely, desolate, and tiring, it was picked by us. So it's about encouraging yourself to keep pushing forward, um, reminding you of the reason why you chose that path. Um, what meaning it has. Um, I guess keep reminding yourself of that every time you feel lonely or every time you feel like this might not be the right path. So let's go ahead. Sorry if that wasn't super deep. <laughs> I think I have explained why <laughs> in a lot of videos. The, the meaning of this song does speak to me. Um, for those of you who have been following me since my makeup channel, my times I tried to be a teacher, I was trying to do this YouTube, I've had a lot of paths that I have walked down that have seemed very dark and very bleak, but I've stuck with them because 
I have wanted what they will lead to. And then others I have gotten off that path because I've realized that that was not the path for me. Let's do it. Music video. I'm gonna back y'all up. I know I got like super excited at the beginning of this song and the reason why is I very much like a bit of a rock feel. My favorite genre, my favorite genre of music just in general is alternative rock and I've always loved also kind of the mixing of genres especially if one of them is rock so like Halsey's Nightmare, I love that song because it's like a mixture of like like 90s, 2000s rock with like modern beats. I love that. So, <laughs> sorry. I got super excited at the beginning. And we hear Felix singing. Like electric guitar in the back. I love it. <laughs> Why is Felix all beat up? I feel like they a lot of times are beat up in their music videos. I'm still I'm, I don't think I'm like quite ready to full-on cry on YouTube, but This song is kind of starting to get to me a little bit and it's funny because I feel like as I was Reading the lyrics it got to me like a little like I it resonated with me, but not enough to like <sighs> I think because I also love the The like music is hitting me a little bit and I'm like <laughs> this I think I'm good. <laughs> I could have I should have just continued until the end. Okay, we're still going. Uh Okay. So yeah, that was kind of that was kind of unexpected. I have heard there there have been a, a few K-pop songs that do make me cry like every single time I hear them and that have really touched me like that and I guess we can add <laughs> I guess we can add this one to it I don't even really know what exactly it was because I feel like that 
kind of like came I think with like one of the things pull out my sword I'm the one to draw my own path and I think that's like it's like that's one of those things that is so hard because especially in the states I feel like we have this idea um, and I feel like especially if you are a millennial or older you have this idea of what like society is set for you I'm like about to start crying I can't you have this like certain idea of what your life is supposed to look like that society has set those standards that society has set for like what your life is supposed to look like what things you're supposed to do and like when you're supposed to do it by and I think that one of my issues has always been that I <laughs> I always thought that I had to do that but I haven't wanted to and so I think those things have always been like fighting each other have a career by the time you graduate from college at the age of 21 22 especially I live in the south as well they still certain things are still very like traditional you know you're married by the time you're 23 24 and you're you have kids by the time you're 25 26 you might have like multiple kids by the time you're 30 and uh by the way i'm speaking as um i'm like let's stay the 18th I'm like four days away from being 32 and I don't have any of those things. I like it on one side of my head. I was like, well, you got to do all these things by this time. But on the other side, I was like, but I don't want to. <laughs> I've always been wanting to like make my own path, but have still felt like I need to take this path, you know, but as the years go on, I'm like, oh, but I'm too late for this, but I'm too late for that. But it, you know, it, oh, I'm up. Uh, <laughs> I don't know I think that's I think that's where I started like deteriorating <laughs> with that with that line pull out my sword I'm the one to draw my own path I can't see anything even with the moon I'm still astray all right so I think it's needless to say that I love this song um I already did just in the first like five seconds of listening to it um I, I definitely think this so far is my favorite on this album i'm sorry if that was if that was too much um i don't usually share and and this is why this is why because i'm one of those people that's like uber sensitive i don't like confrontation i start crying the second somebody's voice is raised at me or like if i try to defend myself and like the second i start talking about my feelings i'm like a bawling mess so i just choose not to do it usually <laughs> but if you are still here and listened to all of that thank you I guess let me know if you were as touched by this song as I was. You didn't do it so publicly. But yeah, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.